हाय फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द फर्स्ट एपिसोड द विजा हेल्प एट एन वाई ट्वेंटी फोर यूट्यूब चैनल लेस वेलकम अवर टूडे गेस्ट मिस्टर नवदीप सिंह फ्रॉम दिल्ली इमिग्रेशन सर्विस सो टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट द ड्यूलिंगो टेस्ट एंड द विजा प्रोसेस फर्स्ट वी वेलकम टू मिस्टर वेलकम सर thank you so much uh, thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to you know uh, provide the right information on your platform so yeah so i'll be helping yes thank you sir uh, first of all navdi please tell me about the uh, what is the duolingo test and uh, why is so trending topic these day wonderful question so i understand like i think every student must be having this question on his mind about the duolingo test and whether it will be accepted by immigration so before i come to that i'll first explain what what duolingo test is so duolingo test is basically an online test which is being accepted by the canadian institutions and also in the us and also in other countries just for the admission purpose okay. so if applicants are not able to write ielts exam they can choose it as an alternative this is just a temporary re replacement but they can write this test and score like at least uh, 105 or more in this and you know then they can uh, get the admission in the desired institution Process. but this is this is only for the admission purpose as i uh, as i mentioned earlier now uh, as i mentioned it's an online test so anybody can take this test anywhere we just need uh, a closed room with a stable internet connection and also with the camera so uh, it only takes like 30 minutes to take this test and it also cost like less than 4000 rupees in one attempt so uh, the the result we can get in mostly in 48 hours but now because of this covid 19 thing the duolingo team is also accepting so many requests you know for this test so uh, you know they are giving this result after 5 days and uh, in this test again they'll they'll check all the abilities like listening reading writing and speaking and same as ielts same as ielts and but as for uh, because it's an online test so there'll be a video recording as well which will be done during the test the applicant will be asked to record the speech and which will further be reviewed by the evaluator and also there will be some basic fill in the blank questions and also some exercises regarding uh, the speaking and to check the writing uh, skills as well now coming back to the main question again whether it will be accepted by the immigration or not so i think nobody knows the right answer for this particular question and every student needs the right answer for this question so i mean it's very hard to accept that they are putting effort but again it is only you know for the admission purpose again they'll have to take the ielts test which is somehow you know sounds frustrating to be honest but uh, so far there are two aspects to it one is we stick to the fact that it is only for the admission purpose and we will have to write the ielts test again afterwards you know or the other side is some consultants are saying okay this this uh, you know the colleges have started accepting this test only after the consultation with the high commission and that means uh, there may be a possibility just like they are doing with pte which like pte is also an exam which is not uh, you know which the immigration has accepted in the past and have issued the visas there's no confirmation about pte on the immigration website so similarly they are also giving this example there is a possibility that duolingo may also be uh, accepted like that but we do not have any past record of the same so if you are going to uh, file the visa with duolingo uh, you have to be cautious uh, because there is a there is a risk because we do not have any successful proven record until you don't take the risk you don't come to know so that's the only strategy which uh, i think most of the immigration consultants are going to follow so they will try with some uh, application they'll see whether the visa officers do believe in the credibility of this test and whether they accept it for the immigration process or not we, we still need to find this answer it will take some time but the immigration has already started processing cases so we'll we'll i think we'll find the answer for this question very soon now there there is a application named the uh, duolingo on the app uh, play store and the uh, iphone app app store yeah did they take the test through mobile and please tell us the what are the basic requirements to take part in this test great question this this test can only be taken using uh, a pc or laptop you, uh, students cannot take this test on a mobile phone or a tablet you know so we need a closed room we need an uh, webcam we need a stable internet connection 
and some of the policies of this test is uh, the students cannot look around you know the uh, the cursor shouldn't leave the browser and uh, yeah these are the basic requirements i mean you know it shouldn't be like we i mean they'll be evaluating the entire uh, conversation and entire video very meticulously so uh, these are the basic policies like we shouldn't be looking around and you know as i mentioned the cursor shouldn't leave the browser so they need to ensure that the applicant is not cheating yeah now deep as you know that uh, there are many uh, in many countries there poor internet connection yeah if the connection disconnects mm -hmm. the, the test will stop then the mm -hmm. uh, fees is refund or a uh, fees is like that uh, again test uh, what is this uh, as you know that in india uh, i think it is recommended that you know you you be very sure about the internet connection it's not before. possible in india uh, no in that case i think uh, because even at the starting of the test Does they mention any on it yeah so they they give clear in, uh, there's a clear policy that this is the student's responsibility to have a stable internet connection so in that case i don't think the duolingo would be able to help you or defund or something because uh, they have very precise policy that you know and before even starting the test we a uh, student has to agree with that that you know have to accept those conditions that okay we have the internet connection stable uh, internet connection yes so uh, i i don't think there would be any refund or something if student has any particular situation where you know he's being uh, treated unfairly so he can contact the duolingo customer service so the another question which is uh, you know making rounds is uh, about the main take you know because it's covid-19 a lot of students were supposed to join or start their classes in main take but because of covid-19 they couldn't travel because the international travel is suspended now the ircc has come up with some update they've already published on their website those students can still join online classes and there won't be any you know impact on the pgwp conditions which means uh, if the colleges agreeing to providing online classes because there are certain programs which you know which are let's say some workshop programs which cannot be taught online so other than those programs if, if some programs are offered online and they are feasible enough the college can uh, provide the online classes and student can start the classes from sitting you know while sitting in india or while in their home country yeah. and there will not be any impact on the pg wp conditions students will still be able to apply for the three years stay back work permit yes now they were did this test mm -hmm. as sort of uh, recommended for another countries like australia new zealand uh, yes it, uh, there way something like uh, that you know about it uh, or only only for canada i think initially the us institutions have started accepting this test and because the in the us visa process there's a you know the interview process so students needs to go through the interview that's a mandated process so i think for for the us student visa it is pretty much feasible because anyway the visa officers would be able to uh, check the english language proficiency of the student in the interview so yes it is also accepted in other countries other than the us but i think most of the uh, us uh, institutions are accepting the duolingo yes now they whether ielts important or not this is one of the question which is there on the applicant's mind so as i already explained uh, duolingo is just for purpose so far we do not have any confirmed or proven record that it is being accepted for the immigration purpose so far we have to stick to the fact that okay we may have to write the ielts exam uh, after getting the offer letter because this is just purpose the applicant will get the offer letter they can pay the fee they can have the gsc so account in the meanwhile they can also prepare for the ielts test as soon as the ielts operation you know resumes so yeah they'll have to write the test yes now there's some agent saying uh, no need to take the ielts after <clears throat> this test what is this and uh, can you explain it is it uh, possible or not yeah i think the consultants are playing a bluff to be honest okay. and uh, because nobody knows the right answer to this question whether it the duolingo will be accepted by the immigration but you know uh, this immigration industry is very unorganized as we understand and uh, i think it is it is completely false that so far i cannot say because we don't have any confirmation so consultants are still uh, you know uh, playing with the fact that uh, maybe the colleges and uh, immigration uh, have took the duolingo acceptance decision you know uh, after the consultation and they may accept it just like pt so they are just guessing 
it's a guesswork so they're just guessing but we'll have to wait and see because the immigration has started processing the application so we may see some sort of results with duolingo if will if some student gets the visa so obviously everybody would proceed accordingly but so far we don't have the uh, you know the uh, confirmation so that means applicant will have to write the ielts exam so far my prime goal of coming to the show was to pro only provide right information to the applicants i understand you know when we search on youtube and we find a lot of videos about any particular topic and we are not sure which information is correct which video is right and where which is credible yeah. so this information which we are providing is verified and correct and this is my only motivation of coming here to provide the right information to the students so that they can take the right decisions accordingly and uh, in case you have any more questions in case we haven't discussed some of the questions which you have on your mind uh, you can quickly write your question or query in the comments so that we can get back to you additionally you can find our contact numbers uh, down below so that in case uh, you know you feel that you really need to have a detailed consultation about your profile you you're most welcome to get in touch with us we'll be really happy to help you okay thanks for watching our show please subscribe and share and also press the bell icon for more updates and episode thank you so much